guys you are welcome in my youtube channel for subscribe click here and for more option to get the notification you can choose send me all notification for this channel click save go again you see here you're notified mobile only go to manage settings and choose mobile and email okay if as you see here in just my configuration my project i created voice translation rule number one okay so <clears throat> i want just to go to the blackboards for convenient explanation so this is our translation rules uh, this is my translation rule the main translation rule which calls translation rule number one so this one they call it the master translation rule so this one they call it master and under master there is sub translation rule so these three rules it's sub translation rules so this is sub translation i have master i have master and i have sub also so what is translation rule it's from the name it's like translation translation is like translate language to another language it's the same thing if you remember from the first video from the design that's you see every time every step i say to you do you remember the first video the design because the design is very important to understand so if you remember from the first video the design part the part one uh, i told you that service provider let's again mention it here quickly the isp he will provide you the sub service yes okay he will provide you also the i told you he will provide you with three things or four things the customer ib address the server sub server ib address the isp ib address and also the codec and the besides these things besides these four things they will give us also the number or the did DOD, sorry, DID, DOD number, direct, inward, and direct, outward, dialed. So the service provider, he must give you this range. So for example, in our example here, I just suppose he give you 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, 6 and 1, 2, 3, 3 digits number that it's mean any digit number it could be one 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 two three three four five whatever you need so let's suppose this is my local oh sorry this is my national number okay in my country whatever it's your national number in your country you have to follow this concept so it's easy for you so it start with zero so sometimes i have to start with zero to dial the extension number for example i am outside um, in the same in the same in the same country but different like uh, sectors okay uh, for example you are in new york and someone in boston something like that so here in saudi arabia is the, the same thing the same idea if you are in the outside the country you have to dial zero and then one two this so this these three digits they call it the key for the country okay then three four five six then he will give you then it will be any numbers here okay or if you are in the same country you don't have to dial zero you got it you don't have to dial zero sometimes you have to dial for example one one two three four five six so this is another also possibilities the first possibility is to dial zero the second possibility i don't have to dial zero the third possibilities that means if you are in the same country also you don't have so this one you have to dial just directly you will remove one and two and you will take three four five six and dot 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 three digits number so 
In my country, with my projects, I have three like scenarios or three possibilities to dial the numbers or national number. I have to dial zero if I call, for example, from mobile phone. I have to dial zero. If I am inside the country, the same country, I don't have to dial zero, so I will dial one, two, three, four, five, six. If I'm outside the country, okay, for example, I am in Washington, I want to call Boston also, so I don't have, I don't have to dial one, two. Uh, so, sorry, if I am just in, in uh, New York and I want to call New York, in the New York, I will have to dial three, four, five, six, then one, 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 one. So this is just like scenarios. It depends in your country. You have just to follow the concepts and you can guide yourself. Okay, so this is the DID and the OD. And this is the three rules. So rules, it means the possibilities of dialing. Okay? If you remember, also the first video, I will repeat it again. I said, inside my call manager, Okay, let's suppose this is my CUCM. I have two type of phones. Okay, this phone it has this extension 6111 and this phone it has 2001. Okay, in my call manager, I will give this phone this extension number. I will not give it 012345. 6111 okay so now i think the translation rules now it's just starting uh like ripening in your brain so i don't want to put these numbers or these digits i want 6111 so what i need to do i need to use translation rules i want to translate this number 0123456111 I want to translate it to 6111. Okay? So, this is what I need. So, if anyone he called me from outside, okay, from outside my network, okay, from service provider PSDN outside, he will dial 01234561111. So, it will go like this. This is my SIP. This is my SIP service. This is my cube. And this is my CUCM. Okay? And here is the phone. Okay. This is, let's suppose, later I will explain to you this is something called one dial, dial peer, sorry. And this is LAN dial peer. But I will not now speak about dial peer. I will just, just explain to you how is the, just the scenario for the call flow. So, someone he called you from here, okay, he wants to call this number, 6111. He, he cannot, if he dialed 6111, it will not go there, because he has to dial the DID, DOD number. So, he will dial 0123456111, okay, then it will go to the SEP cloud, and from SEP cloud, he will forward this number, because he knows this. He knows this number, 0123456111. I give this range to this company. So he will forward it immediately to my cube. So my cube will understand this. Yes? Okay. My cube, he will understand 0123456111. Then my cube, but my call manager, he cannot understand actually this. My cube, he will just translate this number to 61111. So this is what we need. Okay, you got it? I think it's easy now. Now we will go to explain the wild cards, uh, symbols, and also the rules. Let's just erase all these things. Oh, it should take time. It's my eraser. It will take time. Okay, I will pause the video and do it. Okay, so now we'll go to rules and just explain the wildcard symbol for translation rule. Just remember, 
every steps in this video it has I will speak about many times about wild cards the wild card for translation rule it's different than wild card of dial page but I will put it inside the dial page for translation pattern by the way so you have to focus about this one okay so let's suppose let's take rule number one okay rule number one I have here slash then this hat number this hat symbol wildcard then three four five six then backslash then I have just like brackets three dots this backslash also close the bracket let's just explain this then I will continue with six and one if you see this this slash that means explain like start with this number start with the, the first digits okay and let's suppose this three four five six just to be more understandable so if I have two slash this is slash and your slash that means start with three and end with six start with three and end with six so but if I have like this three slash three four five six then backslash backslash this one that's mean strip off remove that's mean so this one start with three and end with six but remove okay but remove strip off okay now I have this hat number or hat symbol okay if I have here that's mean this hat that the this wild card that's mean anything begin with okay that's mean anything any number I receive it begin with three four five six strip off remove it after remove it what will happen then then I will go to the next wild card this one this wild card it means like he will take the cube he will take the three digits any three digits number is dialing that's it's mean like any three digits any sorry any digits dialed so he will take any three digits dialed okay he will take it and he will put it in set one where is set one it's here if you remember this is like uh, slash and six backslash one and slash this is the set one so if the external if anyone from external network he dialed three four five six one 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 okay the cube oh, he already he will understand this so he will make translation remember I'm just explaining to you if someone dialed from outside but this one translation you can make it inbound or outbound you can make it for incoming or outcoming outgoing sorry I will explain this one in the translation profiles and dial pairs so you cannot just the translation rule it will not work alone you have to go to the translation profiles okay and also translation profile it's not it, it's useless so you have to apply translation profile inside the LP so every step is related to each other as I told you in the first video so if if anyone here from external he dialed three four five six one 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 okay then the cube he will see okay I have his slash so and I have half symbol that means three four five six and this one here is backslash that mean I will remove this so any number any number start or begin with any number begin with three four five six I will strip off I will remove it and I will take these three digits one 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 and I will put them in the set number one but is that all things no the cube he will add six before this number so it will be six one 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 which is the call manager will understand it you got it yes so this is what I mean in the rule number one okay if if, the, if if he this one he called for example from uh, inside the country 
inside the country actually in Saudi Arabia you don't have to dial um, you don't have to dial the key you don't have to dial 012 okay if you dial 34561111 it will forward you immediately but if you are for example outside the country you are not in the same country you are outside but I'm inside the Saudi Arabia but like there is a suburbs area or like this countries we call it something like that cities you are not in the same city something like this you are going to outside city you are going to dial one two three four five six one 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 then translation rule number two the sub translation rule number two will take over okay so the first one is not match the second one is match the same thing he will strip off one two three four five six and he will take one 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 and he will put it here and we'll add six before one 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 then it will be six one 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 if you are calling from mobile uh you have to dial zero so if anyone he dial zero one two three four five six one 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 he will remove a strip of this and he will put one 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 here and he will add six before six one 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 so it will be six one 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 sorry one 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 so this is our scenario so my scenario here i need if everyone from outside calling to match these three rules or these three sub rules so i think it's clear now yes it's it's clear somehow it will be more clearable just like uh, maybe later in the other videos actually if you want to understand more about uh, these wild cards because there is more than with this wild card because you can do this or you can do this idea with different ways which way you are like it you can do it so you can go to any cisco documents for this translation rule wild card just search in google translation rule wild card from in the cisco document or cisco in the cisco site you will get like a nice explanation there so I think this is the first, the second video it's finished. I hope to see you in the next, the third part of this tutorial, which I will go to translation profile and the uh, peer. Okay, uh, sorry, translation profile and application of translation profile. Okay, thank you. See you. Bye bye.